Temple. Now we talked about them earlier. Expected to go three and nine by both SP Plus and FPI. Went one and six last year. Eight and five the season before that. Rod Carey is entering into his third season. The win total sits at two and a half. To go over is minus one fifty five. So that's definitely good. Yep. Right. To go under plus one twenty five. Now, Georgia quarterback Dewan Mathis transfers in. That should be you know a big deal. Uh, running back Iverson Clement comes in from Florida. That could be, you know, that could work well. They're going to pair that with eight returning starters on offense. Uh, analytics say that the Temple offense should improve. I do have my doubts a little bit, but the overall talent level has has improved, right? Defense brings back six starters. They got three P5 transfers that came in as well. So at looking at the numbers, looking at everything else, they should be better as well. They were not allowed to scrimmage until almost October last year. There were a lot of excuses for why their season went as badly as it did. I've tried very hard to not judge these teams based off of what happened last year. Yeah. Good or bad, by the way. Um, but I will I will tell you this. They, you know, yes, they were on like their fifth string quarterback by the end of the season. They had to deal with a bunch of injuries. They had all kind of problems. Da, 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 da. I think Temple under Rod Carey is headed in the wrong direction. And, you know, it's not that this is a super difficult schedule. Like, they open at Rutgers, at Akron, and Boston College. But they are actually expected to be underdogs in all three of those games. And when so, you're expected so, I don't to be know about the Akron game. I definitely think Rutgers and BC are significantly, are on the, on the come up. Yeah. significantly better in their phase of their rebuild or whatever. And I think, personally, significantly better coached. Yes. And that, therein lies the problem of, of, of that start. They got a coin flip game against Navy, you know. I mean, that's it. Like, I don't. It. I don't know how to get them to three wins. Like they, they might. Like the the most difficult games are at home. That's their right. their winnable games are on the road this year, that's and right. that is a bit of a problem. Uh, they've got Wagner. They've got Akron. They've got Navy and East Carolina. Um, you know, there's spots here maybe where they could get. You know, to three or that's even right. four. Oh no, yeah, they could. They could. I've, I've got, but they got to win all the coin flips, yeah. and they got to beat the teams they're supposed to beat. But therein lies the problem of there's normal years four or five years ago, maybe even three or four years ago. Rutgers is a team you're supposed to beat handily. No, not with Shiano there. Not with what they're doing there. No, BC completely on the rise. Totally yeah, different under Jeff team. Halfley. Yeah, and 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 they're just a better football team. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go over the two and a half because I think they can get to three. Yeah. Because I I expect them to be able to beat Akron. I expect them to be able Wagner. to uh, beat Wagner. Those are the only and, two wins that I think. And, I feel but, good but about. I, but I got to get one more. Like, but I got, all I got to do is get one. more. That's right. And I've got coin flips for East Carolina, and I got coin flips for Navy. Yeah. So if you go one and one in those games, that gets you to three. Gets you to three. The problem is, is when you're only flipping the coin twice. It's, it's it's not uncommon for it to go heads heads. You're you're right about that. So are you going under? I I would go under just to get the positive juice because I think I'm flipping a coin. Yeah, and I don't want to lay one fifty. I don't want to lay a buck fifty on a coin flip. That makes when sense. I could when I could get plus one twenty five on the same coin flip. That's true. That's that's it's strictly a math play, and I don't think this team's good right now. I, I tend to agree. I hope I'm wrong because I like Temple. And you know that. I, oh, yeah. I've always liked them. And, uh, we especially like them under Rule and under Jeff Collins. Well, yeah, but it's but. impossible to ju- – I'm not judging I'm not judging this man as a coach based on what I've seen so far because when you're a coach, it's same thing. You'd be a fool for ju- judging Dana for the same thing. You yeah. can't judge him. Yeah. No, that's entirely true. Entirely true. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.